This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to the episode of Dojo TV, a show where we talk about all things motion design and visual effects. For our first story, we have a story by Insidium. They released a new product as part of their Fuse collection for Cinema 4D, and it's called Tau. Tau is a procedural plant animation system used to generate trees and flowers and grasses and custom objects. It allows you to easily replicate the beauty of nature by creating different species of trees and replicate them on how they kind of fight and distribute themselves for light and space. You can make an array of grasses and flowers, use layers and rules that will allow you to kind of drill down and control each element. You can build individual plants, colonize landscapes, and add forces to create natural motion. It's ideal for architectural visualizations, 3D animations, and films. Check it out down below. Helium, the 3D plugin for After Effects from the creators of Stardust, released a 5.0 update that pretty much brings some of the cool volume rendering features from Stardust into the plugin. So now you can render VDBs and volumes and easily integrate 3D elements into your projects with Helium. There are a few new pieces as well. Of course, the plugin can do much more than that, including creating after organic elements, render terrain and 3D models, extrude and create 3D shapes and text, and much more. So check the plugin out down below for the new update. So now that Redshift is part of the Maxon family, there have been a lot more content and tutorials on how to use this powerful render engine. It can kind of be intimidating to learn a third party render engine, so look at this tutorial from School of Motion will kind of kickstart your journey. In this intro tutorial to Redshift, you'll learn what Redshift is, how to use the interface, how to get started with no materials, and the basis of lighting and rendering to create beautiful renders. If you've got a beefy GPU, now's the time to dive into Redshift. Now, School of Motion also released a second tutorial on how to create some simple 3D character designs using Cinema 4D. So if you've been wanting to get into 3D character animation, this is a tutorial for you. The video will kind of walk you through how to create and model a simple character in Cinema 4D, including the base model, how to add details to your model with ZBrush, and how to texture your character using Substance Painter. It's a very, very nice comprehensive tutorial that will kind of walk you through from the initial concept to the final model. Check it out down below. There's a new name your own price plugin by MoGraph Mindset and it's called Find My AEP. It is exactly what it says and it adds a native menu inside After Effects to quickly open the folder containing your AEP project file. Hopefully one day this feature will be native inside After Effects but until now, enjoy and if you find it useful feel free to donate. Another cool name your own price tool is a script by Song Z called Quick Guide. It's a small little tool script that will allow you to generate grids inside After Effects with different modes to create center action safe grids, rule of third grids, or golden ratio based grids. It supports comp and layer modes, 3D layers, and other cool features, so check it out down below. There's a new tutorial from Pepco Motion on how to use the echo effect to create dynamic trails of duplicating moving objects within Calvary. I think this tutorial really shows the beauty and power of Calvary and just how useful the procedural based workflow kind of is. This is a lot more powerful than just slapping on an echo effect within After Effects to create trails. With Calvary, it's easy to add variation like color and scale and secondary animation to create beautiful visuals, all with very fast rendering and flexibility. Really hoping to see Calvary make some ground in the industry. Before we continue, I want to give you a quick thanks for a sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website with it for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have an amazing team to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, if you use promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. The next story is from Premium B and Charles Jager. He'll kind of walk you through how to create and animate a very cool holographic sticker animation. You'll use some free animated textures, the CC page turn effect, and some neat After Effects tricks to stylize your sticker to create a very convincing effect. The project file is included, and Premium B is always giving away really cool stuff. Speaking of freebies, Premium B also rounded up several neat smoke overlays, fogs, and smoke stock footage for your next project on this post down below. They work in After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Premiere, and virtually all other NLEs. Check the assets down below. The last set of stories is from Action VFX. The first one is about the Miss Marvel cosmic energy effect. So in this tutorial here, I'm sure you guys have all seen the new trailer for Miss Marvel on Disney+. Plus. This tutorial will kind of show you how to create those cosmic glowing energy effects within After Effects, learn how to use assets to create and texture in the energy effect, how to create a giant hand effect without any 3D software, and how to composite everything to create a convincing effect. Another Marvel-based tutorial by Action VFX is on how to create this kind of summoning weapon effect that you see from the new Doctor Strange movie. In this example, you'll learn how to composite a sword from a 2D image, create a glowing energy effect for the weapon, and composite everything together with sparks and other assets. And the last tutorial is also related to Doctor Strange. There's another tutorial on how to create the kind of dark energy orbs from the movie. You'll learn how to combine multiple energy ball assets to create a very unique orb, how to rotate and animate things in 3D space, and how to add glow and color to for a more convincing realistic effect. 
So that's pretty much it for this brand up, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.